When I think of themes that we've tended to miss in the Christmas story, I think of three words, sacrifice, honesty, and glory. Sacrifice because you have to look into that manger and know that baby came to do one thing, he came to die. That everything in his life would be marked by sacrifice. In fact, think of the body of the baby Jesus being made uncomfortable by the ends of pieces of straw, even that sacrifice is amazing that God would be willing in the person of his son to go through that. But every day was sacrifice leading to the ultimate sacrifice. This in ways is a deeply sad story of this one who would suffer, 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 suffer. Why? Because he loved us and there was no other way. The second word is, is honesty, that the, the Christmas story confronts us. It, it confronts our feelings that we're okay and we can manage our lives. If we were okay and we could manage our lives, God would have never gone to this extent. This is a deeply humbling story. I'm such a complete mess, and we're so terribly broken that God would do this radical thing. You've got to allow yourself to be honest about what that st the story tells you about you. And then glory. What, what is more glorious than the love and grace of God that's demonstrated by this story? You almost can't wrap your brain around the love that would motivate God to do this thing for us. Rebels that we are, arrogant that we are, lost that we are, foolish that we are, that he wouldn't say, enough already, I've had it with you. He would say, no, 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 no. I'm gonna send my son to, and subject him to terrible things so that you would be reunited to me again. Think sacrifice, think honesty, and think glory, and you're getting at the core of this story.